When most kids are getting off the bus and heading for home, the second graders from Lidgerwood Elementary School are heading to the Boys and Girls Club for an afternoon of tutoring. Today, they're working on their writing. We are going to write thank you notes. Remember how I On any given day, around 30 second graders come here for a little one-on-one -on -one time with volunteers. You're finished? Oh. Okay, let's see. Peanut butter. Edward, let's see yours. It's a chance to practice reading. Thank you for spending time with us. Have some fun and look ahead to the future. I like to be a veterinarian when I grow up. I like to be a fashion designer. Hmm. An astronaut. A doctor. Football player. Second grade is a very key grade. If we can get them thinking about their future, at that young of an age, then we have a better chance of, of um, you know, success. Looking at the statistics, children in Spokane have a one in three chance of dropping out before graduating high school, and we want to turn around that statistic. It was important to thank people who take time out of their own lives to come. Lauren Umdenstock is in charge of the after-school program for the Lidgerwood second graders, 47 in all. That's the entire second grade class. Everyone has promised to show up for tutoring on a regular basis. We are seeing giant improvements. Trisha Christian has two children in the program, son Austin and daughter Marquita. They are excited about it. Um, I haven't gotten too many complaints about, I have to go to REACH, I haven't heard any complaints. This is the first year of a 10-year journey for these kids, a journey that won't end until they graduate from high school. And while getting a diploma is the goal, there's a bigger prize waiting for these second graders. We get to go to college for free. Every kid who sticks with the program will have their college tuition paid for. Trisha got the news last fall and couldn't believe it. I did cry. <laughs> My husband and I both cried. <laughs> it, was a, it was a gift from heaven for us. We were shocked and in disbelief and thankful. We were just thankful that we were sent people down like this to help us with both of them. The people Trisha is talking about are the founders of Reach for the Future, three couples who banded together four years ago. We really didn't have to talk very long and hard to people people really just came on board with us and I, I'm not sure we could have stopped the process if we even had wanted to. Reach for the Future is a 501c3 nonprofit. It's modeled after the I Have a Dream program, which has been around since the early 80s. Still, the idea was brand new to Spokane. The nearest program like it is in Vancouver, Washington. Organizers spent years raising money and designing a program that was just right for Spokane. Like we like to say we're not throwing money at pro a problem, we're throwing people at a problem. I've Maybe been, that should be on our list. I've been you know, a real yeah. college. A real college, good for you. The founding members and an army of volunteers spend time each week with the kids. They're called lunch buddies. This is like half short uh -huh. where you can stand. Uh -huh. and it's like somebody who who you hang out with. You talk about our children and stuff. Mostly the lunch buddies just listen. Um, what sports are your favorite sports to do? Football. football. You both football, into football. Yeah, we both play football. It's one more way sponsors are making sure the Lidgerwood 47 stay in school. We do not flunk them out of our program. <laughs> Yes, and we, we do everything, we're going to do everything we can to help them graduate. These kids are going to grow up knowing that they're heading to college and they're going to have guidance and mentors along the way. We'll drag them kicking and screaming, but they're going to graduate from high school. Okay, second grader! The program does have one paid staffer, Lauren, the program coordinator. Put your stuff away quickly, quiet, quietly, get in your two lines. The first week, I thought to myself, oh my gosh, what am I getting myself into? Now it's hard to imagine not being there till the end. I feel so connected to the kids and I feel like I would almost be letting them down if I left. I was so excited to play with. After just one year with the Lidgerwood 47, Lauren is already seeing a glimpse into their future. Allison Christensen and I see her 4.0 in high school. I see Marquita and I see her kind of as a social butterfly. Um, and Austin is very athletic. I see him involved in a lot of sports. Whatever direction these youngsters take, it's knowing their future will be brighter that keeps these volunteers going, even when the problem of high school dropouts seems overwhelming. On one hand, I feel like 
God, this is so wonderful. We get to help 47 kids. But to me, it's just, uh, you know, it's a drop in the bucket. For now, sponsors Nisi Schaefer, Patsy Etter, and Angie Zackheim focus on what they can do today and wait anxiously for graduation when the Lidgerwood kids will complete one last assignment, accepting their diploma. I give you the graduating class of 2019. If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.